previously on Dunk League. Dark Horse Tyler Curry showed out with some explosive dunks in DUNK. But it wasn't enough to take down either one of the vets, Kilgannon or Clark. Clark took the 5Gs, outlasted Kilgannon. Only one competition remains, the final. Kilgannon versus Clark. 20 stacks on the line. Let's get it popped. Oh! Oh! Y'all, we made it to the final battle. Jonathan Clark, Jordan Kilgannon going one-on-one -on -one for 20 stacks. The Golden Rim Trophy and Ascension to Dunk Royalty. You know how we do. We're going to keep this championship round simple. You will be judged on your three dunk package. At the end, the judges will vote for the winning dunker. No scores. JC, because you won DUNK, you get to decide if you want to go first or second. I'm going to go second. Second it is. Now for the last time. Let's get it poppin'! The thing with Dunk League and why I always thought it was so cool is just there's so many different challenges and sometimes dunkers specialize in one thing and another dunker will specialize in another and this contest will really let those people shine. Congratulations to that man Jonathan Clark for the How High Challenge! It's a really tight-knit group which makes for awesome contests. I was waiting on that nine foot, I told you it was coming. He does that and this will be over. Everyone's able to push their boundaries and become the best version of themselves, all the while still having that competitive drive and getting after it with each other. I think this is a proper final. These two definitely deserve to be there. Jay Clark, this is his third season, second time in the finals. Season two, you know, I just came up short. I definitely would be lying if I said I didn't feel some sense of unfinished business. They both have two totally different like skill sets when it comes to dunking, so I'm just excited to see what they're gonna pull out the bag. The variety of dunks, it's actually absurd. I get very focused on the present and what's to come next. My strategy for this dunk contest was just based off all my past experience with dunk contests. I made sure to go to a store before I came to Dunk League. I got two basketballs that I liked a lot and I knew I could palm well, I could cuff well before showing up because there's no guarantee that I'll be able to do the same thing with the ball down here. I bring like two backup pairs of shoes. I show up extremely prepared because I've had a lot of losses and a lot of lessons learned. I want the smoke. I know what I'm capable of doing. I've worked really hard. This is something I really want. So I am prepared to do the best and bring home that title. Now we down to the finale. You know what we came to see. Who's going to win that 20 stacks? First up. That man, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. Here comes Kilgannon, assisted by champion. It's the finals. Oh, hey, yo. I think he's gonna try to between the legs, elbow hang off the double up. Tear a muscle? Oh. Yeah. You gotta ice that right away, man. I had a partial tail already before, and I might have just done it a little bit more. Jordan has done this dunk before, and he, when he does elbows, sometimes you get your bicep on the rim. So his bicep literally has a dent in it from doing this. He hit it directly on that dent, so it's just really aggravated again. That between the legs, that's a lot of momentum going down. Oh my God. Up next, that man Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper. to get money. Back up 
with his second attempt. Jordan Kill get it. We've been waiting on this. Here we go. Oh, hello! That dunk was crazy. Next up, Jonathan Clark, aka the Jumper. Kilgannon. Here goes Jordan Kilgannon being assisted by Rivera. Jonathan Clark, a.k.a. The Jumper. Turn me up, hey, turn me up. Oh. oh, my God. This is going to be special. Let's go, Clark. Come on, JC. This is his third attempt on his third dunk. One of these two men are about to be crowned Dunk League Volume 3 champion. Take home 20 stacks and the Golden Rim Trophy. With the unanimous decision, the winner of Dunk League Volume 3 is... That man all the way from Canada, Jordan Kilgannon, AKA the Myth Killer. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I did exactly what I needed to do. It feels amazing to walk away with my top thousand. You know, I have goals. Need money for those goals. I'll be here next time for sure. Without a doubt. I'll do my best again. <laughs> We can't end this thing off without giving props to that man all the way from California, IA, Jonathan Clark, AKA the Jumper, for making it this far. I kind of knew what was happening when I missed my dunk. It's definitely a gut punch. To everybody that's watching, you know, don't be afraid to go for your dreams. Sometimes, you know, failure is a part of the process. Didn't happen today. Um, there's always another day and uh, another opportunity to be the best version of myself. Congratulations to all the dunkers for handling the unique pressures of Dunk League, bringing their best, showing off some dunks that we have never seen before, and snagging some prize money too. So let's see how the stacks broke down. 
Tyler Curry takes $2,500, Dan Gross and Isaiah Rivera get $5,000 each, JC takes home $12,500, and your Dunk League Volume 3 champ takes a grand total of $25,000. Dunks are innovative now. I've never seen no dunks like that before. The height, the style, power, degree of difficulty was on 11. Kilgannon, he came out, he was hungry. You know, he pulled everything out the books. I think he maybe missed one dunk this whole contest. That's a lot of consistency with, you know, dunking. Unfortunately, Jay Clark came out, he missed the dunk. And I feel that was the deciding factor. My decision was Jordan Kilgannon. The winner of Dunk Lead Volume 3, Jordan Kilgannon. Get that money, man. Oh my god, it's oh my god. 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 Oh my god.